Welcome to the Video Dictionary. Today we explore the word, word, and just where do words come from anyway? Word, noun, a string of sounds or symbols that are used to convey a meaning. History and etymology. When I looked up the origin of the word, word, in the Oxford English Dictionary, I was confronted by a long list of cognates. A cognate is a word that comes from the same origin, and they all came from the Proto-Indo-European verb wera, meaning say, speak, or utter. A few examples of these cognates are the Old Germanic vort, Old Frisian vord, Old Danish orth, Danish ord, and possibly the Sanskrit vrata which means to command. Prescription and commentary. What is a word, really? It's a combination of two things, a series of sounds or symbols and an associated concept. Now, when I say the word pink elephants, an image should pop into your mind. If you're an American, it was probably the scene from Disney's Dumbo. If you've never seen that movie but speak English, you have a concept associated with the sounds pink, and you have another concept associated with the sounds elephant. And with those two concepts, your mind was able to combine them and make an image in your head. And to someone that doesn't speak English, those are just sounds. They're not even words. They don't mean anything. But where do these associated concepts come from? Where do words really come from. There's no government agency that dictates what words mean. There are businesses that release books about what words mean. They're called dictionaries, which is what I'm doing here. But these lexicographers will be the first to admit they're not trying to control what the words mean. They're trying to find out what the words mean from the people that use the words every day. So where do these meanings come from? What creates a word? Let's take a look at an example I'm currently researching for an upcoming video. The color orange. Prior to the 14th century, the English word for orange was actually saffron. When a brightly colored fruit from Asia came around called oranges, and they became almost ubiquitous as a preventative measure for scurvy, it was only a matter of time, repetition, and familiarity before the word orange became synonymous with the color of their peels. And this is where words come from. Repetition and familiarity. This is how you learn words when you're a kid, and this is how words come into existence to begin with. This process only works on a voluntary basis, from the bottom up, literally the smallest among us, our children. And that's what makes language so beautiful. It's a perfect example of spontaneous order and complexity, with no need for a ruling power. This isn't to say that it can't be standardized for ease of use among a large number of people, but the moment words are made compulsory and required in everyday use by an authority is when things get dangerous. An example is in George Orwell's masterpiece 1984, when the English Socialist Party attempts to standardize language and compel specific words and phrases be used in everyday speech as a way to control the people of Oceania. Compelling speech and forcing the use of a particular word removes the beauty and voluntary nature of language. There's a reason poetry isn't generally written in the C plus programming language, or music lyrics written in the legalese of an end user license agreement. When words are compelled in everyday life, we lose the beauty, the poetry, and the voluntary nature of our wonderful language. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this exploration of the word word, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly explorations of the words we use every day.
For more information about this word, please follow the link in the description below. There you will find links to sources and other related articles and videos. If you'd like to support the Video Dictionary Project, please follow the support link below for information on becoming a patron, affiliate links, or to make a one-time contribution. And until next time, keep learning.